So we're talking today about build a better business. And I have Alicia with me this morning. So good morning, Alicia. Where are you? I know you're inside of Starbucks, but where are you coming to us from? I am coming to you from Cincinnati. 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 Okay. I am in Canal Winchester, right outside of Columbus, Ohio. Okay. Uh, so we're not too far apart, a couple hours. So welcome. And uh, I'm going to watch Thank the you. participants, see who else jumps on. Uh, but today we're talking about build a better business. And I always do a review before we get started, just to kind of let everybody know, um, you know, where we're at and what we're doing. And when you build a better business, the first thing you have to know is what, what are you offering to your audience? What, what is your product? And so um, we suggest that you put together what's called a VPS, a value proposition statement. And it's kind of your promise to the audience. And uh, it goes something like, um, you know, I'm Kathy, I'm a passive income coach, and I can show you how to um, create income without having to punch a time clock. And so that would be my VPS, my value proposition. It's what I'm bringing to my audience. Um, then uh, the second month, we talk about storytelling being your marketing. And we break down for you your hero's journey. Uh, and your hero's journey, again, uh, the formula uh, oversimplified is something like once upon a time, here's where I was, but then I discovered this. And now I want to help you discover this as well. And, and then we get down into... Um, the details, if you will, on your storytelling, because that is the cornerstone of your business, is your story. Once you have your story, you're open to anything. You can, um, you know, take on even a, a last minute speaking gig, if you will, <laughs> because it's your story. You don't have to say, oh, I don't have a speech prepared. You know, you always have a speech prepared. Now, my story is that I was a single mom, and then I discovered the cosmetology industry, and through the cosmetology industry, I discovered um, investing in real estate, and once I started investing in real estate and realized that that could become passive income, I then went through my uh, cosmetology career and retired, and now I show other folks how to create passive income, and so when I talk about my story, if I'm talking about if I'm talking to a group of single moms, I can spend more time in the single mom segment of my story. If I'm talking to a group of cosmetologists, I can stay more in that segment of cosmetology. If I'm talking to real estate investors, I can talk about more about how I got into real estate investing. And so you can see where you can take your story and it's like an accordion. You can just take in any piece of it, you know, and since then I've, I've, I've published and I'm a published author. So if I'm talking to a group of writers, I can talk about the writing process. So you see where once you have your story um, kind of down, where you know exactly what, what your story is and the different parts and pieces that point back to your products and services, then you can stop at any po portion of that story and kind of stay there depending on your audience. Um, if it's just a room at large, just a general group um, that you're talking to, and it's all different backgrounds, then you can just give the overview of the story. See, you know, on how all those parts and pieces fit together. But your storytelling is going to be the cornerstone of your business. And so you want to work on your story. Now, for those of you that are listening, you can go to kathybinner.com. And you can see a little bit about my story there. And so uh, visit there and, and use it as a template, you know, use it as a template. But again, the overarching template is once upon a time, here's where I was, but then I discovered this. And now I want to help you discover uh, whatever points back to your products and services. And so you can kind of tailor make that. And then once you know what your value is to your audience and what your story is going to be, then you're ready to serve. Serving is selling. So you're thinking, okay, I now I'm putting this business together, but I don't have, I don't have any clients. Uh, you know, who's going to, who's going to know about what I have to offer? Well, find someone that's in your lane, find an influencer that is already in your lane that has the same audience you would like to have and serve them serve them, find something they're missing. Maybe they're doing in-person meetups and you can offer to bring the coffee. Maybe you can offer to work the registration table as their attendees come in, volunteer, 
maybe you could offer to you know help get some of their notices out their notifications out um, whatever is in your wheelhouse but serve them and if you come alongside them and start serving them guess what's going to happen they're going to pull you up on stage they're going to say Alicia stepped in. She, you know, you met her at the door. She helped registration. I just want to give some kudos to Alicia. And all of a sudden, everybody in the room knows who you are. And so now you have borrowed someone else's stage by serving. But don't go in expecting, oh, I'm going to get all of these kudos for doing the serving. You have to serve because it's the right thing to do. And even if you're just meeting folks at the door, maybe they never do pull you up on stage. Maybe the big guru, it, you know, has five or, or 10 volunteers and, the, and they make a comment like, I just want to say thanks to all my volunteers. Uh, but you're still there. You're rubbing elbows with the same audience that you're looking for. And at some point, you'll start engaging in conversation. And this is where you have to have your value proposition because people will say, well, what is it you do? Well, I don't know about you, but if you've ever gone to a networking event and someone doesn't like let you go, you know, you, you say, oh yeah, what do you do? And they launch into this big story about what they do and, you know, and it just goes on and on. You're starting to look for an exit. You're starting to go, okay, I want to meet some more people. I don't want to just be tied to this guy all morning at this networking event. So don't be that person. So that's why you have to work on your VPS so that when somebody says, what is it that you do? Um, you can have a short answer, but you want something that makes them lean in. You want something that makes them say, what does that mean? How do you do that? So if I say, I'm Kathy Bitter, I'm a passive income coach, and I can help you create income without having to punch a time clock. Well, you know, everybody that's that has a day job is leaning in. <laughs> They're like, what? How do I do that? And so it just opens up the conversation. And then, see, I can launch into a bigger conversation, which is my story. Because remember, your storytelling is your marketing. So then at that point, when they say, what, how, how, what does that mean? I can say, well, once upon a time, I was a single mom. But then I discovered how I could invest in real estate. And now um, I, I thought I wasn't going to get to retire at all. And I actually retired early because of my real estate investing. Well, all of a sudden, they're like, I want to know more about that. See, so you see where you're just taking a piece of your story. And, and again, it depends on what audience. If I'm in a room full of cosmetologists, I might, I might go back and say, and then I discovered cosmetology and here's what happened. Um, and they're going to lean in because they're in cosmetology. Or if I'm talking to realtors, you know, and I say I started investing, uh, the room full of realtors are going to lean in because they're like, and oh, how did you get started doing that? So you can see where how you present yourself is going to make your audience lean in and want to know more. So once, once you have your VPS, you, you've put together your story, your hero's journey, you're now ready to start serving some influencers that are in your lane. Now, where are you going to send those folks to? When they say, I want to know more, and you realize you don't have time to go through every single thing that you do standing in the elevator. That's why they call it the elevator pitch. Um, so you're thinking, okay, I, I need to send them somewhere. They're like, well, how can I connect with you? So this is where you have to have a place for them to land. And so the first thing that I like to do is I like to have um, an electronic business card. And the electronic business card does two things. Number one, when, whenever you're at, a, at an event and somebody hands you a business card, how many times do you have good intentions, but you go home, it gets put on your desk. Um, six months later, when you're cleaning your desk off, you run across it again. And depending on how they name themselves on the card, you don't even remember what it was they did or why you were con wanted to connect with them. And sometimes they've named their business something um, so creative that you can't even tell what it is they do. And, um, and we talk about that when, we're, when we talk about naming our business. Um, and so some, you know, it's like I was in the cosmetology industry and cosmetologists are famous for this. They always want to come up with some really artsy type name for their salon. And, and it doesn't even, people think it's an art studio. <laughs> they're, they're like, what is that? What is that building? Um, and, and then again, when you look at the nail salons out there, every, every, every um, 
shopping center has a nail salon and and they get it right because you drive by and a big sign says nails <laughs> you don't have to question what it is they're doing so we need to be a little more like that and a little less creative we try to get so creative that we we kind of put ourselves out of the market because folks can't tell what it is that we do. And so once you're ready to design your platform, I like to use uh, Linktree as my electronic business card because I can just, number one, I can just change it up anytime I want. It's super simple. I can scoot my links up and down on the link tree. Again, think of it like a trunk of a tree and I can scoot my links. So if I'm getting ready to have, um, you know, a book launch, for example, I can scoot the book launch link to the top for that 30 days. If I'm going to um, launch a mastermind, I can scoot the link to register to the top for that 30 days leading up to that launch. And so it's so easy to use Linktree. And the reason I like it too is um, you can have a QR code where somebody can just put their camera over your QR code on your phone and now your Linktree, they can open it, but you still don't have their information. So what I like to do is I like to say, let me send you my electronic business card. What is your phone number? So now I go straight to my text. I enter their phone number and then I put their name on it you know, how you can save it into your contacts. And I make a note of where I met them. I met them at the writer's conference or I met them at the real estate uh, meeting or I, you know, I put wherever I met them so that I have a connection. And then I text them my link tree link. And then I tell them, I go, okay, I sent you my electronic business card, but I now have their contact information as well. Even if they don't have a business card, I have their name their phone number and where I met them. So now I can follow up. I can say, hey, it was great meeting you last Tuesday at the meetup, um, you know, we should have a coffee or whatever. So I can, I can actually follow up because that is the biggest problem with just handing out business cards is that we never really get to follow up. So that's my, my big tip for the day is Linktree and to exchange that with a phone number at the time. So now we have to have a platform. Where are we going to send folks? Well, here's the problem. We don't know what platform to choose until we can kind of reverse engineer what it is we want to offer. So I'm going to just kind of give our offers in one big presentation. So first of all, you've got your first base offer, which is your freebie. Then you've got your second base offer, which is going to have a little bit of a price tag. And then your third base offer, which is going to be your bread and butter. So think about that one. And then finally, you're going to have your home run offer, which is the one that makes you go celebrate. So now let's reverse engineer those before we decide on what platform. So first of all, if you have an offer that makes you go celebrate, that's going to be maybe something a little expensive. That might be something that you don't do all the time because it takes a lot of money and effort on your part. Um, think of things like you're going to do an annual conference or you're going to do an annual summit and you have to find the place and you got to line up the food and you got to have, you know, and you've got to have some help getting everything you know, advertised and marketing. And, you know, so it's kind of a big deal and it might be your biggest price point. And so um, that's one that as soon as somebody signs up for that one thing, whatever that is, um, that's going to make you go celebrate. You know, you're going to go have a glass of champagne and say three more people signed up. Yay. Um, because that's going to be your big one. So, so we're going to reverse engineer. So that's your home run. So wh where do you want folks to end up at the end of the day? Maybe it's a one-on-one -on -one coaching client. Maybe that's your biggest price point. Uh, maybe it's a one-on-one -on -one coaching client and they're going to pay, you know, by the hour. So now you're, you're investing in them by the hour, but they're investing in you with the price point by the hour. And maybe that's your home run. Um, for me, I also do tribe trips because I want to celebrate everybody's freedom. And, uh, and that's one of my biggest, and I'm going to show you all of this on my platform before we go. So you you get to see what it looks like. So reverse engineering that you've picked your biggest thing. You don't do it all the time. It's your once a year thing, or it's your quarterly thing, or it's something that is kind of big, or it's something that you don't want a lot of, like the one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can't do a lot of those because they're just in enough hours in the day, you know, to do 50 of those. 
And so you only want maybe five one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. So you, you make your price point where, you know, you weed out all the other folks and you just want the ones that really want to work with you. So maybe that's your home run. So now you're going to come back and you're going to reverse engineer. So now we're going to talk about your third base. Your third base is your bread and butter. Think about what is it that you love to do? You do it every day. It's where most of your money comes in. What is the biggest thing that makes you money? Maybe it's a membership site that makes you the most money. So that's where you want to drive folks to is to the membership site. So think about, you know, maybe it's a mastermind. Maybe you do an ongoing mastermind where you, you know, jump on a Zoom call um, twice a week and you just keep that going, 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 going over and over and over again. And that's your moneymaker is people that join that mastermind. So think about what is the one thing <clears throat> that you do all the time, you enjoy doing it, you love doing it, and it generates the most income for you. That's going to be your third base. And again, we're reverse engineering this. We're going backwards. So if that's your third base, now think about what can you offer as a second base <clears throat> where somebody can kind of try you out where they would want to go on to your third base or your home run, you know, and that's going to be a little bit lesser price point. And then we reverse engineer even further back and say, what would be that free offering that I could offer somebody to, so they get to know, like, and trust me so that they even want to buy that second base. And then once they do the second base, go, oh, I'm definitely going on to third. And then finally, you know what? I don't want to be left behind. I'm going for the home run. <laughs> and then you go have a glass of champagne. <laughs> So you can see how we're reverse engineering that whole thing. Is, is that helpful? <clears throat> I'm losing my voice this morning. Sorry about that. So then once we get through all of that and, and we've, we've kind of designed all of that, now how do we get folks to know that we're out here doing this? And so now we segue over into the marketing piece. So then we talk about how do we get all of this out across social media so that folks can find us how to uh, and and maybe we should start a blog and so with blogging about our different topics people will find us and then what you do at the bottom of your blog is you point them back to your offers and to your platform and then maybe we start a podcast and podcasting folks will tap in i mean youtube is like one of the largest search engines out there and maybe writing a book you know, Amazon is another huge search engine out there of folks to find you. And then finally, once we do this for a, a few months and we've got our story down and we know exactly what our products are and we've kind of rehearsed to where it kind of come becomes second nature, you're ready for the speaking stage. And you can start small by speaking to Chamber of Commerce lunches or whatever, uh, you know, wh wherever your audience is hanging out. Um, but ultimately, you could then start charging for some speaking and you could actually monetize some speaking gigs as a keynote speaker or, um, you know, as an onstage speaker. So that's the whole process of building a better business. And as you can see, you have to kind of build it just like you're building a house. You have to have a good foundation under there before you can go on to the next step. And some folks decide they're going to go out and speak at a chamber of commerce and they don't have anything to talk about, you know. And they get up and talk, and then at the end, nobody can really tell you what they sell or what they do, because uh, they just talked all about theory and, you know, and and how they feel about life and this, that, and the other. And you're like, well, that was nice, but kind of wasted my afternoon, <laughs> because we want a call to action when we're listening to a speaker. We want to know if this resonates with me, what do I do next? And so that's why we want to have a step-by-step -step process. And so I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you what my homepage looks like. So this is my homepage and I have to move ourselves here a little bit so that I can see us. So this is my homepage. And as you can see across here, these are my, my different topics. And then when I click here on the more button, uh, you can see more of, of my topics here. Uh, and all the products, my calendar of events and all of that. So, but when you go down my homepage, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So this is my VPS right here. 
teaching you how to be healthy and how to create passive income, coaching you how to get there faster and design your path so that you can experience freestyle living. So you can see where I've put my VPS right there. Now, I don't quote it just like that if I'm out in public because it's too canned. You know, people will say, what do you do? I'm a passive income coach. I teach you how to create income without punching a time clock. But you can see this is what my value is. This is my value proposition. This is my promise to my audience. And then I launch right into my, I launch right into my freebie. I would like a 30 minute coffee chat with Kathy. So somebody that says, I want to know more. Oh, look, and I soften this up to say coffee chat because I don't want them to feel like it's going to be a sales call. I don't want that. I don't want to say, uh, talk to Kathy about your next step. Cause they're going to like, Oh, she's going to be an infomercial. She's going to pitch me on trying to buy something. So I wanted to soften this up so that they felt like they could just chat with me. And then I give a graphic design and, and let me see if I can get rid of this. There we go. So here's my graphic design. Here's the complimentary strategy call or a free meetup. Now today we're on a free meetup this morning on building a better business. So these are my first base offers and I have two. So I have a complimentary strategy call and it says have a casual chat with Kathy. See, again, I'm trying to take away the pressure because they don't know me and they don't know, like, and trust, and they're certainly not ready to get their wallet out. And so at this point, I just want them to have a casual chat and a free meetup, join as many as you would like. See, again, you want to make it welcoming, the Jimmy Dean sausage strategy. Give it a try. See if you might be interested. Okay. Just give it a try. So that's that. Then I go on to my second base and this is learn everything from health to wealth. So this is just a course. And, and any one of these, see my arrows, if, if they do the complimentary call, they are now part of the tribe. If they do a free meetup, they are now a part of the tribe. If they do a course, they are now a part of the tribe. So you can see my arrows around here. Then it goes on to the masterminds, be a part of the membership community. This is my third base offer, which is my bread and butter. Okay, because this is where it's a, it's a monthly membership fee. And so that's where my passive income comes in. So free stuff, first base, second base, third base. Then my home run is either an, a one-on-one -on -one coaching or a freestyle tribe trip. That's, those, that's my home run. That's the stuff that I don't want a bunch of. It's a lot less in numbers. And so those are priced so that not everybody jumps into these. Everybody can jump in over here. And it, think of it like a funnel. And as they, as they come around, this graphic, the funnel gets smaller and smaller, meaning the price gets higher, the number of people's, the number of people get less. Okay. So free, tons of people. There's a, a cost here. So a little bit less, there's a monthly cost here. So even less people, there's a bigger cost here. So only a handful of people. And these are the folks that you're really building. These are your raving fans over here. Okay. Does that make sense? But all of them are part of your tribe. And so think about what you want your tribe to be. Think about, uh, and see, mine is a freestyle living tribe. Design your path to freestyle living. So think about what you want your tribe to be, what you want your tribe to look like. And once you decide what you want, like after folks have worked with me and done all around this graphic, what do I want them to look like? I want them to look like this. This is what I want them to look like. I want them to look like they are having fun, freestyle living, having fun. We are just having fun, okay? So think about what you want your tribe to look like. This is what's going to attract somebody to your website. Now, this is my homepage. It is also considered my landing page. And if I just give somebody kathybenner.com, this is where it ends up. So now I make it super simple. Step one, attend a free meetup. And again, I would like to browse the list of the free meetups or free eBooks. Everything's free. No, no skin in the game. They're just checking it out. Okay. Step two, buy the courses, unlimited access. Again, I would like to browse the list of courses. Then step three, join a mastermind group. 
And this is where I would like to browse the list of the course mastermind bundle, because it says here, don't forget your courses will be included for free in your mastermind group. You will be having fun, getting healthy and creating passive income in no time. So see there, I'm including part of my VPS back in my description, what my value proposition is to them. Okay. And again, you want pictures that kind of go along with what, what you're doing. See, you want it to look fun if that's, I'm all about freestyle living. So I want it to look freestyle. I want it to look like we're having a ton of fun. That's what people are after if they want to connect with me. They're like, yes, yes, I, I don't want to punch that nine to five anymore. And so you want to create a landing page that will appeal to the end result of whatever your products are. And then one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. And this is where I get into the one-on-one. -on -one. I talk a little bit um, here about uh, teaching you how to be healthy and how to create passive income and coaching you how to get there faster. Again, it's just kind of a repeat. And then here's the button that takes you into the coaching package. And then here is the Freestyle Living Tribe Trips. And I would like to see where you're going next. And so there's a button that takes you into the trips. Does that make sense? And so now those are the offerings. And so now meet me. If you put all of your accolades at the top, and I see this a lot with websites, you know, the person will be there with their arms crossed with this, you know, you know, connect with Kathy and people can look at that and see, because the first question they ask when they land on, on your landing page or on your website, the very first thing they're going to ask is what's in it for me. And if they see that it's all about you, they're going to go, well, good for her. I'm, I'm glad she's published three books and has, you know, four degrees and good for her. But they didn't connect with you because there's nothing there on what's in it for them. And so on my website, it's all about the client, what's in it for them. So I don't even get down to meeting me until further down on my page. And then again, I threw on there again, I would like a 30 minute coffee chat with Kathy because by then they've gone through the landing page. They see the steps. I make it super simple for them to understand the steps. And so now they're like, oh yeah, I think I do want to talk to her. So instead of them having to scroll around and find that again, I put the link here again. Then I segue into my marketing. Here are all the ways that they can, if they get this far on the landing page and say, okay, I'm not ready to connect with Kathy. I'm not ready to um, actually go to a free meetup. I'm not ready to buy a course. I'm not ready to join her membership site. I'm certainly not ready to pay for one-on-one -on -one coaching or go on a tribe trip. I just want to know more on what this is all about. So now they can read my book. They can listen to a podcast. They can go through and follow the blog. See, they can do all these things right here. Okay. They can find my calendar of events. They can look at everybody that's in my speaker's cabinet. They can learn more about how we give back around the world. See, so they can just learn more about me and what I'm doing. And then finally, I put the kudos down here from some of my clients and way at the bottom, I put my accolades because a lot of folks, they don't want to know. They don't want it. They don't want to know everything I know. They just want to know that I know it. <laughs> and so they want to, you know, so a lot of folks lead with this stuff. Like, here's all my sort of, this is what makes me qualified to be this person. And that's where a lot of your customers will go, oh, well, good for her. I'm glad she's all that smart. But they, they feel like there's such a big disconnect, see? And so by putting this at the bottom, somebody that, that is a degreed person might say, well, what, what qualifies Kathy to even do this? Well, it's there, they can find it, but I don't lead with it, if that's helpful. And then last but not least, don't forget to have your terms of use and your privacy policy somewhere. Don't forget to do that. So is, is this helpful so far? Yes, okay. Uh, before I go on, and because we're gonna talk about all kinds of products and services. And again, you saw here where I have books, I have a podcast, I have a blog. And, and uh, one of the things, oh, well, and then on my calendar of events, one of the things that I want to say to you is that you can repurpose tons of stuff. Now, while I'm in this section, here's what I want to show you. While I'm, and I'm going to kind of scroll around. So bear with me as I scroll up and down and all around here. I'm going to show you what I do. 
So the first thing, step one is to attend a free meetup. Well, first of all, I want to back up even further. Complimentary strategy call. I use Calendly. Calendly. Um, I use the free version and, and folks uh, click through even here on the 30 minute coffee chat. I'll just click and show you what it looks like. It comes up with my Calendly. And here is my call, complimentary 30 minutes. Here's the phone number. Here's dates that they can pick. And so you can see all the dates. That way, they, they are only booking on my calendar when I have time for them. I don't have people willy-nilly all over the place saying, saying, can I pick your brain? Can I take you to coffee? Can I? You can do that when you first start with one or two people. But what happens when you get 10 or 20 a week that want to do that? You don't have time to just meet them up for coffee somewhere and then chat for an hour and still not know what it is that they're asking you. You don't have time for that. So this is where you can direct those free chats into something a little more manageable. Okay. Does that make sense? And so that's, that's where I use um, Calendly is under this strategy call. The free meetups, I do that on um, Zoom, like we're on today. And I simply go over to Zoom and I picked a time that fit my schedule that I felt I could connect with my audience the best. And I just put that on a schedule. And then um, I put that, I can click here on the more button. I actually put it right here at calendar of events and I'll click there. It's faster to get there. So when you get to my calendar of events, um, all it is, it's, it's just a, a Google calendar. Um, if you use Google, you can have as many Google calendars as you want. And I named this one, as you can see up here in the corner, my Simply Start Calendar of Events. So only the events that I want to show on this calendar do I put on this calendar. That way my doctor's appointments and my grandkids' ball games, they're on my personal calendar. So I've created a whole second calendar, but here's the joy of a Google Calendar. You can overlap those calendars. So when you're scheduling something for your business, you can overlap that calendar with your personal calendar so you don't end up double booking yourself. And you can color code them. So your work calendar might be this, this pretty yellow color that you see here, and maybe your personal calendar is blue or green or whatever. So now when you overlap those calendars, you see which items are personal and which items are for your business. And so everything, all my free meetups, all my tribe trips, um, everything that I'm doing for all my clients are here on this calendar. So you can even see the Florida trip is on there. You can see the newbie bloggers. Here's the ins and outs. Here's create your own. All of everything that I'm doing is here. And right here's where we are today. Um, today, we are already at this build a better business right here. And you can see how it shows up. And I even put the word free because in my list of things, I've got the free, then I've got the mastermind. And so I make sure that it says free on the free ones. So, because as you can see on Google, the entire name doesn't always show up, but watch this. When you click on that, right there is the Zoom link, right on the calendar. And so it's easy once you create this and because over in Zoom, you're gonna simply gonna say, I'm gonna do these masterminds or, and, and you can pick, let, let's pick the, the term mastermind. Let's say, I wanna do a mastermind. It can be your freebie. It could be your second base offer. It could be your third base offer, depending on what price point you wanna put that mastermind. You see where I'm going with that? You, you have to reverse engineer what it is that you wanna do and what you like to do and, don't make it a job, make it fun. Pick the thing that you like to do the most that makes the most money and plug that into your third base. Then reverse engineer it backward and say, what could I do? And for me, it's the free meetup, then it's the course, then it's the membership site. And so I'm using Zoom two times. I'm using it on the free meetup like we're doing here today. Then I'm also here, here's the paid one, see? And I, I put the word paid over here. And so here's the paid build a better business. And it's a whole different link to get to it. And that one is, is the paid one. And I put that word right at the beginning again, because on the Google calendar, the entire title doesn't show up. And I wanted my customers to be able to find the free stuff versus the paid stuff right here on 
on the calendar. Okay, is that helpful? And so let's go back to my home page. So now, as we're scrolling through, I've got to move our faces again. So now as we're scrolling through, it makes more sense, see? So step one is attend a free meetup. When you click here, it's going to take you to the free stuff, which is a Zoom call. Step two is a course. Now I'm using Teachable. As you can see here in the URL, it's the Kathy Benner International Academy .teachable.com. I'm using Teachable. There are 101 teaching platforms out there. You don't have to use Teachable. <coughs> Excuse me. And then step three is join the mastermind group. I go back and do a Zoom call again. So I'm using Zoom as my free offer. And then I'm using the Zoom as my membership site offer. Now, here's where it gets sweet. On the free stuff, and I'm going to scroll back to the free one. On the free stuff, all this is is a Zoom call. And I showed you that on the calendar. When they, when my customers, my clients, my would-be clients, my hopeful soon-to-be clients, when they click through and do a free meetup, Zoom records that. And Zoom gives me two recordings. They give me an audio video recording and they give me an audio only recording when Zoom automatically. When this call is over, I will go to the Zoom recordings I will take the audio video and upload it into Vimeo and have a library of all of my free recordings, which I then put the link over on my Teachable platform as replays. So now my clients get added value in the fact that, that if they wanna tap in to these free meetups, and I'll show you when I click here to the free meetups, and here are all the free meetups. We have a free meetup for Fit as a Fiddle. We have a free meetup for real estate, a free meetup for short-term rentals, a free meetup for Build a Better Business. Here's where we are today. A free meetup for how to create your own mastermind or masterclass or challenge, and a free meetup for, to write anywhere in the world. And then we also have a free meetup for newbie bloggers, a free meetup for networking, and then a couple of free eBooks. So if I go back here, to the build a better business, which is where we are today, and go to my free meetups. Again, it tells a little bit about what we're doing. And Sherry is traveling today, so she's not on with me today. Normally she is. Here are, what do you think? All of the replays. It's just, all I did is I just saved the link to the Zoom call. So now somebody can say, oh, I want to go back and listen to this value proposition or the storytelling or the influencers or where your clients are going to land or examples of websites or getting your offers in the right order. I want to go back and listen to some of these. And here is last year, 2022. And here is all the replays. Okay. And here's 2021. And here are all the replays. And here's 2020. And here are all the replays. So you see, and then of course, you know, my ask, frequently asked questions are there. So you see what I'm doing is I'm simply repurposing. I'm taking that link and I'm putting it over onto Vimeo. Then I'm putting it onto YouTube. Then are you ready for this? I'm taking the audio only version and I'm making it a podcast. I'm taking the written version of it, making it a blog. And then I'm taking the recording and putting it into my academy as added value to folks that want to tap into the free calls. So I do one Zoom call and I repurpose it on Vimeo, YouTube. I'm using Audio Boom. You can use Spotify, whatever blog or whatever podcast site you want. Then I'm putting it into the academy. And then I'm making it a blog. And so I'm repurposing this one Zoom call six times. So it's not, it, you don't have to make it so difficult and so hard, you know, that you're saying that's way too much work. I can't do that. So you do one Zoom call. Let's say you do one a week. You now have content for six different things. Okay. Now you'll notice, and again, I'm going to click on it one more time. You'll notice as you scroll down and I use Canva. So again, there's another tip 
I use Canva. I simply made these on Canva. And you can see here the Build a Better Business, the free meetup right here. All right, now watch this. So now I come all the way down my landing page to where I get to the marketing. Here's my podcast. So what happens if I click on the podcast? I'm using the same graphic. You see there? And here's, here's the free meetup replay right here from, from the last one we did, not today's. Today's isn't up here yet. This was the July 14th, build a better business, third base. And, and, and all this is, is uh, just the audio only of that Zoom call. I just repurposed it. And I've got a little bit over here, a blurb about me. And when I, when you put it, when you upload onto a podcast platform, most of your podcast platforms will share. And this one shares um, with all of these. So I'm automatically on Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, CastBox, iHeart, Player FM, and Podcast Addict. I'm automatically on those when I put it on Audio Boom, which you see up here in the URL. Okay. Is that helpful? So you don't have to work harder. <laughs> you can actually work a little smarter by simply repurposing your content. All right. So um, I'm hoping that that's helpful. Now, the one thing that I do want to show you while we're here today, uh, one more thing, because we're, we're getting close here, entrepreneurs and solopreneurs, I'm going to click on that button. And so this is for entrepreneurs and solopreneurs is a, to build a better business and creating a five-day mastermind masterclass or challenge because some of the folks said, I'm going to go a little deeper just on how to create one of those challenges or masterminds or whatever to make it one of my offers. And so we have a whole separate lane for that. Um, but today we are actually here in this lane. So I'm going to click on the course and this is the actual course and see, this is my Second base, because my first base is free. My second base, 197. It's a, it's a just a one-time price of 197. And you get the full course. But if you do the mastermind membership, the course is included. See, so I'm trying to, again, trying to add value to, to what my audience is receiving. So today, when you look at the course, it goes right through adding more heart to your business and then creating your VPS. Your storytelling is marketing. Your serving is selling and a step-by-step -step guide to build a better business, your website. We talk about how to make it all about your client instead of about you, how to create a free offer that your audience will love, how to create a first base offer, how to create a second base offer, and finally creating a killer third base offer, and then creating a home run package. And so what I wanted to show you is digital products that you can add. Because a lot of folks are like, I don't know what to make all these offers. Well, here is how, and I just want to review this. I, I wanted to show you where I found it so you can find it as well. And this is all the things you can do. You can have eBooks. Now, keep in mind, this can be your freebie. This could be your first base. It could be your second base. It could be your third base. Let's say you're a writer and you want to just sell ebooks. That's how you're going to make your money. Or it can be your home run. So think about which one of these types of products you want to put on which base. Mine is, again, I'm doing the, the call, just a, a chat with me through Calendly. And physically, I pick up the phone and I actually talk with them for 30 minutes as my freebie or these free meetups, which I do every Friday morning. Again, I'm just, I've just committed an hour every Friday morning at 10 a.m. to do a free, a free Zoom call. That's my free meetups. And that is, that's it for free. My second base is my courses. I write the course and put that as my, as my second base for a flat fee. And again, I write the course once I can sell it over and over and over. And that's how it becomes passive income. My third base is going to be my mastermind membership site. That's my bread and butter. And I do those calls on Mondays because I run a bed and breakfast. One of the things I do for passive income is I have short-term rentals. Well, Mondays are my least busy day uh, with guests. And so I do all my mastermind 
meetups on Monday because that works for my schedule, okay? And then I do a second Calendly for the one-on-one -on -one coaching. I have a whole second Calendly. So if somebody signs up for my one-on-one -on -one coaching, they then get another Calendly link, not the free one, but they get another Calendly link. And I've put aside some time, morning and night, either before my guests are out of bed or at night after I'm all done with everything, um, where I can chat with them on a coaching call. Well, I only want a couple of coaching calls a week. I don't want 50 coaching calls. I, I only want a couple a week. And so I only take one or two one-on-one -on -one coaching calls at a time, clients at a time. And then of course we do the tribe trips because it's freestyle living. That's my, that's my, that's my product. So, so now I come back here and I say, where am I going to use eBooks? I'm going to use eBooks as a marketing tool, as a freebie. And you saw some of that when I clicked through on some of my free stuff. Online courses, I'm using that as my second base. Printables, create printable planners, calendars, worksheets, checklists. I include those in my courses. So I, I use printables as added value to my online courses. Webinars and workshops. Okay, this is, I use these as my third base, my mastermind and my membership site. This is all in my mastermind. Digital guides. You could produce step-by-step -step guides, tutorials, or how-to manuals. Um, my girlfriend, she does media kit templates and she sells those and that's that's her second base offer is she's all about um speaking she teaches people how to speak that's what her product is is she's a speaking coach and so she offers a a uh, media kit template as her second base offer okay and and she and she charges for that um audio content you could record podcasts, audiobooks. Again, I do my podcast as one of my marketing tools to point back to my products. Stock photos and graphics. My daughter actually has a graphic design company. She uses Canva and she, she will set up a Canva for someone. Then she'll go in and do, are you ready for this? 52 Canva templates and put their information on those templates in their color that brands with their website that they can use across social media and she charges for that that's one of her offerings is that she will sell you a package of ready-made graphics for your business software tools you can develop software applications if 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 you're techie i'm not so this one doesn't even make it on my list um, templates, here's where my girlfriend was designing the, you know, the media kit template. And I suppose in Canva, you know, my, my daughter, you could say that all of her uh, graphics are templates because a business could take that actual graphic and change up what it says and still use the colors, the graphic, the picture, and just change the words on it if they wanted to. So they could use that as a template. Um, presets and filters create presets for photo editing apps or filters. I don't know how many times you go on Facebook and it'll say, add this ring around your picture. Well, somebody created that and, you know, they're marketing that. Uh, print on demand products. You can design t-shirts, mugs, you know, and, and have a whole website where you're selling that sort of thing. Um, the sweet spot there on print on demand products is oftentimes you don't even have to do it. You can find a company that does print on demand. You can create a whole website selling print on demand. And if somebody buys something, you simply put the order in through the other company and it ships directly to your consumer and you get paid. <laughs> so, so you can create all kinds of, of products and decide where you want that to be in, you know, in, in your basis. Where, where do you want that offer to be? And so now for me, um, I'm going to be, and, and I haven't added this yet, but I'm getting ready to add some print on demand products um, as just an extra kind of as a sideline. And so folks can get t-shirts that says freestyle living or a coffee mug that says freestyle living just as a sideline. It's not going to be one of my main bases, but it'll be an extra stream of income. Okay. Mobile apps, you can develop mobile apps that provide a, a specific utility or service or entertainment value. Uh, interactive PDFs, you can create interactive PDFs or forms or multimedia. Um, I use 
uh, Google Forms all the time um, so that folks can sign up to be in my speakers. Well, you're thinking, well, what's what's the speakers cabinet all about? I have created the speakers cabinet because I work with a lot of business folks like you and they want to get speaking gigs. They've gone through the whole build a better business and they want to get speaking gigs. So it's just a way that I can add value back to my client base and give them a place where we can advertise them. Again, it's all about my client. It's not about me. I want my client to look at my site and say, what's in it for me? And as they go down the page to say, oh, all of this is for me. Okay. Animations and GIFs, how many times do we have fun with those? Yeah, you can, you can create, again, if you're techie and that's what you want to do, uh, courses in a box, you can bundle related courses, resources, tools. And again, I have some of that in my courses. I have where uh, if they get into real estate uh, and they take the real estate course, there is a down, downloadable PDFs where um, it has a copy of lease agreements, a copy of uh, you know, eviction notices, a copy of how to make an ad to advertise an empty unit. So I've, all of those are ready-made templates and ready-made PDFs that they can download. So it's all there when they buy the course. Uh, recipe books and meal plans. Um, if you're into the health and wellness at all, I've got a girlfriend that does um, videos on how to combine whole foods and be more healthy. And so she has a whole page of recipe books and meal plans that folks can download. Um, language learning materials, produce language courses. I have a gal that teaches English um, in China and she wanted to get on board with several companies. And so she puts herself out there as an English speaking tutor. And so she has all kinds of vocabulary lists and flashcards and all kinds of things on her website. Um, because she wants folks to pick her over someone else. Um, fitness and wellness guides, you know, we've all seen those, the workout routines, the fitness plans, the meditation, the wellness journals. Virtual summits, this is something new. I love this one. Virtual summits is where you have an online summit. You don't have to have a brick and mortar uh, ballroom somewhere to have, you know, 30 speakers on the platform. And the most recent one, and I got so many great connections, was on, of all things, on Clubhouse. And all, all the gal did is she sent out a sign-up sheet and said, get on the channel at this time on this day, and that's your 20-minute spot to speak and invite as many of your tribe as you want to hear you speak. But what happens is that most of us that were a summit speaker, we tapped in in the morning and listened to all the speakers all day. And so I got great connections all day long that then I could follow up on and say, hey, I heard you this morning on the summit. Would you be interested in being a speaker for my mastermind and, uh, you know, and, and sharing with my tribe uh, what you offer? And it's a win-win. And so I got tons of speaking gigs and I booked tons of people to speak on my stuff. Uh, travel guides and itineraries, uh, create digital travel guides uh, for different destinations. I have one gal who is a travel agent and her whole website is all about travel. And, and so she's, she has a, a bunch of travel guides and itineraries for folks. And then templates for professional documents. Um, again, like resumes, cover letters, business plans, presentations, and depending on what your business is, if it, if it fits with what you're doing. Um, you could have a whole resources section um, and put in whatever resources you think. Uh, again, it's all about your clients. What resources would your clients say? I am, I'm joining that because I want the resources. <laughs> okay. So anyway, those are just some ideas. You can plug those in at any place, um, you know, in, in your, in your business, you can plug those in as your free, your first base, second base, third home run, wherever it fits on what it is that you're doing. So that was a lot of information. I realized, Alicia, do you have any comments or questions? Uh, uh, we're coming up to the top of the hour and I just want to make sure that I can relate directly to you and add value to you today on, on what it is that you're looking for and where you are in your journey of building your better business. Well, I just want to add, first of all, thank you so much for this. Um, I tell you, this is my, maybe my third experience with you. And 
just every time I'm so uh, impressed and excited really about the clarity <laughs> that you bring uh, when it comes to, to, to building a better business. Um, I, as a matter of fact, and this is so timely because I was just saying to myself yesterday, you've got to get your story down. Mm-hmm. Like you've got to. So this was so timely for me. Um, and, and again, I'm just, just the order, you know, I'm a very visual person. Right. I love how your website is ordered. I'm telling you, I do websites. I'm going to, I'm going to take, I'm going to use your template. Absolutely. I love it. I absolutely love there's, I I mean, I just can't even tell you, like I've, I've seen a lot of coaches. I follow a lot of coaches. I've, I've seen websites of a lot of coaches. Yours is the clearest, the absolute clearest uh, with steps uh, the the funnel, if you if you will, um, it's just I I just absolutely can can absorb it, and it just speaks to me, and I just thank you so much, and I'm and I am gonna get connected on other levels as well because it just, I mean. I can't even, I don't even know that I have words. (laughs) Well, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for saying that about my website, because again, I've, I've worked on it for a while and I want it to be all about my client when they, when they land on my homepage or my landing page uh, and, and they're saying internally, well, what's in this for me? They don't necessarily verbalize that, but that's what they're after is what, 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 what can, what can she help me with? I want them to feel like I want them to get excited and I want them to go, yes, yes. She, I can talk to her. She's got a free stuff. She's got, you know, I can check it out. I can, you know, I can take the course if I don't have time to get on mastermind. And there's so many levels and I wanted to make it super, super, super simple for them to jump on board. So this is my link tree. You can see up here in the uh, URL and you can go to linktree.com and, and create your own link tree. And I'm on the free version. And so here's where it says, you got to read this first, Kathy's story. When you click on this, now it actually took you to a page. See here, it took you to a page in the International Academy, but it's a private page. You can't find this page in, in any of my menus. You can only find this private page by getting to it through the link tree. And all I did is I created this private page because it's, I didn't want it to be salesy at all. I didn't want people to feel like, well, go to kathybenner.com and then go to about me and then go to, you know. So when they are, when I give them this link right here, when I give them that URL, when I meet somebody, I go, oh, let me give you my link tree link. I just text them the link. When they click on the link, this comes up. So when they go to um, Kathy's story, oh, let's find it again. When they click on Kathy's story, this is what comes up. And I wanted you to see this because use these prompts. Go ahead and steal these prompts from me. Okay. And write down the prompts and then give it like three bullet point sentences. And then you can, and, and, and I left it this way on my story so that I could use this as a teaching tool as well as my story being out there. And so again, this, it goes through that hero's journey. So let me tell you a quick story. I was a single mom. Then something happened. My mom sat me down, said I had to get on with it. At the time I had no idea the impact this would have. The problem was, I was working full time. I had no time to get on with it. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, the nail salon I signed on decided to close. I was on the downward slide because the owners thought it was too much work to continue. So they, and then my corporate job, they were talking about selling and I needed a bachelor's degree to get another job with the same pay scale. Well, needless to say, I felt panicked. How could I support myself and my daughter without these two jobs? You see where I'm taking my hero's journey. I'm taking my client on a journey because if they remember your storytelling is your marketing. If they don't feel that I get it, they're not going to connect with me. They want to, they want to know she gets me. 
she's been there. So that's why the story is designed this way. So needless to say, I felt panic. That's when I truly hit rock bottom. So I showed up for work. It was closed. This meant that I panicked. I started looking for more work. That's when I decided I needed to go full time. Then something happened. I found a new salon, realized what I could do with that. Um, that was the spark I needed. I was scared, but optimistic. So you see where I was now climbing back out. Then here's what happened next. I learned everything I could. Then one day I looked up and realized that I now could buy even more real estate. And I was forever changed by that fact. I now had passive income. I now saw myself in control. That's why I knew I couldn't stop there. I realized I needed to help you too. So now I'm focusing on a step-by-step -step process and I'm able to help individuals and entrepreneurs. This makes me feel that there's so much more for me to do. What I'd like you to take away from this is no matter how tough, just keep going. So you see where it just takes your client right around your hero's journey. So feel free to go to, feel free to go to the link tree forward slash Kathy Benner. And uh, I'm gonna copy that. So feel free to go there and click right here. And, and, and again, I tried to soften it up. I didn't wanna make it sound salesy. So that's why I even use a little slang there. You got to read this first, Kathy's story. Because remember, your storytelling is your marketing. None of these other things down here are going to connect with my client. But once they read this, now they're going to say, oh, she gets me. What, what, she's been there. You know, she's been in the trenches. So now here's where they can get that 30 minute call. And I've even got virtual office hours for mastermind members. If they say, oh, I'm stuck on something. I just need to ask Kathy a question. I don't want to wait for the mastermind. They can come in on virtual hours. We show where we are giving back. The event tab is easy. The website is easy. The academy is easy. The one-on-one -on -one coaching, the freestyle tribe trips, the book, the ebook, the speakers page media kit, the podcast, the blog the magazine I write for, and then either be a speaker or need a speaker. So you can see where this is so easy. And, but again, I lead with my story because that is right here is my VPS teaching and coaching you how to be healthy and how to create passive income. That's my value proposition statement. I go right into my storytelling first thing because that's your marketing. Is that helpful? And I'm going to, absolutely. <laughs> and I pasted that link right in the chat if you want to grab it. So feel free to use those prompts is my whole point in showing you that. And that is what I use as my business card. And so when I go out, I don't take paper business cards because that way, if I'm talking to someone and they go, well, how can we connect? I go, I just whip out my phone and say, oh, what? Because I already have copied the link. I tease all the time. I go, the link's right here on my finger. I've already copied that before I walk into the room. So then when somebody comes up and says, oh, um, how can I connect? I go, oh, okay. I just whip out my phone and go to my text and say, what's your phone number? I put it right in and what is your name? And I name it. And then I simply text them that link. And that way I have their name and where I met them and they have that link, which says, you got to read this first. I love it. I love that. I love it. So you, you see where, again, that storytelling is your marketing, but yeah. they don't feel like it. They don't feel like I'm trying to sell them something. Right. I'm just telling them my story. Yeah. I love it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Every time I talk to you, I just get excited because I feel like I can do it. Yes. Because I, I, I've been so kind of stuck a little bit, you know as far as which way should I go? How can I get all of what I want to do out? Um, you know, just the organization of it. But this just so speaks loudly to me. Well, and I think probably I the it. first thing for you is is to go to the hero's journey and, and do your story so that you have that and put that either on a link tree or on an about me page, you know, have it somewhere so that you can direct people there. To, to see your story. And again, that way it's not overly salesy. And you can, you know, on your website, you can have an about me page and you can even have some pictures of yourself. 
um, cause it's, a, but I also like to call my about, about page, my work with me page. I like to name it work with me. And that way, if somebody clicks there, it's again, it's your story because at the end of your, of your hero's journey, you're also saying, now I want to help you see. So you're making it, you're, you're, you're telling your story, but you're still making it about them. And gotcha. so many times you go to an about me page and it's like, Kathy has these degrees and Kathy's been in business this long and Kathy's authored this many books and, and everybody's like, well, go for her. Right. You know, they don't connect because they're like, well, I can't do all that. So I, who, I don't think she's the person to work with me. Right. And so that's why you have to make it about them, but they have to see that you've been in the trenches. I got it. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to get back to work <laughs> but but i see you creating your hero's journey first and second i see okay. you make make your four categories your your free stuff your first second base third base home run and then start thinking about what products you want to plug into those and list uh -huh. as many as you think might fit in whatever category and then try to narrow it down to one or two that really resonate with you so that you don't get overwhelmed you don't want to have right. 10 things to do in each category that to create actually i have been working on that on my basis but even today you've kind of given me some other ideas so i'm gonna you know um it's developing it's in development <laughs> yes and and a perfect example for me is that my courses are my uh second base to, to buy the course but inside the course, I have resources, I have printable PDFs, I have eBooks, I have, so a lot of those things that I've created, um, I didn't have to create all at once. I just started with the basic course. And then when I would teach the course and someone would say, well, can I get a copy of that? I'm like, well, yeah. I would teach in real estate, you know, what should go into a lease agreement. And then we're like, is there a template somewhere? And I'm like, there will be by next week. <laughs> right, right. So you don't have to do it all at once is my point. Right, right. Yeah, right, but right. you can, but you can make the note that under my courses, I want to add templates that, you know, downloadable templates. And so then as it comes up, you can just keep a little running list of, you know, what templates you want to put there, but you don't have to have them all created all at once. And so one of the things, and this might be helpful, what, what is your main product again? So. <laughs> so it's, uh, I have, I'm thinking of a coaching, uh, coaching program called Unbox. Okay. And it's, and it is geared toward, uh, women, multi-creative women and how to kind of manage your creativity and ways that you can monetize your creativity. Okay. So that's kind of the thing I, I, you know, I, uh, well, that's one of them at least. And then there's, there's the, uh, you know, I wrote a book called, and then I started feeling pretty, uproot the lies, replant the truth and live your life in full bloom. So that's another okay. um, one, but I'm working on the unbox one first. Okay. Um, because I'm going to get the book re-edited and kind of relaunch it. So that's kind of on the table, but the unboxed is, I think that that's speaking to me right now. So what what type of a platform do you think you want to put your content on? Is it going to be more of a teaching type platform? Um, what are you thinking as far as platforms or websites? So I have so I have a website. Um, I am I do have Sam Cart, which you can put uh, okay. teaching. You can do courses on there. So I'm thinking about doing that as well. Okay. which I think was my, I was looking at that as my second base. Okay. My first base was going to be a five-day challenge. Okay. And so like the first three days, we're talking about, you know, your creativity and, and kind of digging in and, and really talking about you, you know, getting back to you kind of thing. Okay. Um, and, and then I think the second day was, you know, talk, uh, um, writing down what people come to you for what you have been known for what you what you've been known to do what people enjoy about you th that kind of thing uh, I can't remember the third day but then the fourth day was like a Q&A and then the fifth day I'd tell them about the 
the program, but I'm, so, so I have the program, which I think is probably the home run. Okay. I'm thinking, uh, and, but then there's also a one-on-one -on -one coaching, you know, as well. Yeah. And, and I have two, I have two home runs. I've got the one-on-one -on -one coaching okay. and the tribe trips. So you okay. can have more than one in each category, but you don't want to get too overloaded because that confuses your audience. Right. Right. They don't know where right. to go. Right. So I'm, so I'm kind of like, okay, do I, do I market now, the one-on-one? -on -one? May, may I suggest something? Mm -hmm, please. Think about a membership site. So I, so I do have that as well. I do okay. have that on my list as well. Um, because if so you should, could have should a, that be the, the thing that I promote in the it, challenge, the membership site I see as being, it could be your, your bread and butter. And here's why at, at $25, let's just off the top of your head. And, and again, I'm going to reverse engineer. I love doing that. Um, let's say, oh, I'd like to have $3,000 a month. It just comes in that if, even if I don't get out of bed, three grand is going to drop into my account. So take 3000, divide that by, let's say $25 a month membership fee. You only need 120 members okay. and you've got three grand a month coming in passive income. Now they want, if they're spending $25 every month, they want value for their $25. But here's what's going to happen is not all 120 are going to leave all at the same time. You might have a couple that say, okay, I don't want to do the same work. And then you might have three that join and two that don't. And so after a while, your income will do this. It won't be, I did a coaching package. I don't have any clients. I did a coaching package. I don't have any okay. clients. Okay. okay. It, it, it levels off that income in that membership yeah. site because not everybody comes and goes at the same time. It's going to okay. breathe, but not everybody comes and goes at the same time, but you have to have value over there. So then the next question is what kind of pressure am I going to be under to constantly add value to that mastermind or to that membership site? For me, the way I feed the membership site is with the mastermind Zoom calls because okay. now I'm connecting with my, with my students on a weekly basis, and I'm putting all the replays over into the membership site. That's where the value is coming from. Okay. And when they join the membership site, they automatically get the course. So they automatically get all of the downloadables and the PDFs and the templates and everything that goes with it. Like okay. today, where I, I gave love you, today where I gave you the template to do your hero's journey, see, you can find that in the course. I, and then, I love and then, that. That makes yeah. so, so much sense. So again, to me. you're repurposing your content. So you're not having to do a lot of work because you're going to go on maybe an hour a week and, and talk with, with your group anyway, and just make that part of the membership site content. And then you're going to write the course and make that part of the membership content. And now you've got passive income that, and then if, if, if you do have to skip a week, it's not a big deal. Right. I love tons of content there. I love that because the, so I did a uh, I was supposed to go to a conference. I was unable to go. Um, I was supposed to speak, but also they offer one on ones with many of their uh, their attendees. Uh -huh. So I was at least able to do the one on ones virtually, and it just it just. Even re it resonated more for me that I really love uh, working with multi-creative women because a lot of the women are, you know, that attend this conference are very creative people. And so one of them in particular, the, the last one that I spoke with, it was like, we've got to have a community, you know, uh -huh. for I've got to create a community. Like, I really want to create a community for these women who feel like I'm you just understand me. I'm so glad, you know, I always hear, um, you're all over the place. You can't do this. You can't, you know, just focus on one thing. We're not wired that way. <laughs> you know? right, right. So, but it is just learning how to manage how you are wired. So yes. it's, so I, I that's what I'm going to push. 
during Joni, the challenge. I, I see oh, that Joni, Joni just jumped up into the audience. Joni, thank you so much for being with us. But we are just finishing up about an hour and 20 minutes of being on. We came on at 10 a.m. Eastern time, and we're actually running over a little bit. So we're so glad you found us. Uh, please mark your calendar um, and use the same Zoom ID that you did today. Um, but mark your calendar, and I'm going to go back to my calendar to make sure I say it correctly. We are on the second Friday of every month at 10 a.m. Eastern time. And so, Joni, please mark your calendar to join us again next month. Um, there is a replay. You can go to kathybenner.com, scroll down to the Build a Better Business uh, free meetup, and you can find the replay of today as well. So um, one last thing for Alicia. I want to say, Alicia... If you really connect with, like you said, you really felt like you connected with this gal, um, think about who you want to add on as a co-host or a co-mod uh, if you're doing some free stuff. And, and that's going to be, that's going to do two things for you. Number one is it's going to give you uh, someone in your corner, uh, although they're not paid, um, you can help promote them. And that's what they get out of it is that you're going to help promote them. What you get out of it is that you have a support person that can maybe run a meeting if you're not feeling well or, you know, can can help, you know, again, it's that serving is selling. And so you're doing it in reverse. You are becoming the guru and you're giving them an opportunity to serve you. But you in turn, you're going to promote them. And, and that's what's going to be in it for them is that they and their products are going to get promoted. And it has to be someone that um, that kind of can come alongside you and not compete with exactly what you're doing. OK, it needs to be somebody that that has a lot to offer to your community that they can add to you, value to your community and you can add value to their community. So it's a great collaboration. Awesome. Awesome. Thank okay. You so much. Yes. Thank you. Yes. And Joni says, sounds good. She said she had a meeting that ran over. Joni, I appreciate you coming on so much. Um, again, the replays are under kathybenner.com. That's the fastest place um, to reach us. You can um, scroll here in the chat and see my link tree. If that's easier for you, you can just copy and paste that. And that'll take you to all of all of my content as well. So thank you so much for being on. Alicia, thank you so much. This has been a lot of fun. Um, I hope you've gained tons of value. <laughs> I have uh, every time. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you, Kathy. Well, thank you. And we do have a Facebook group called Build a Better Business. And we do have a meetup.com group called Build a Better Business. So um, feel free to tap in there. And if you want to throw some kudos my way in either of those groups, that would be great. <laughs> I definitely All right. We'll see everyone next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you. Have a Bye. Good